rainbows and welcome back to another create a sim makeover video so in today's video we are going to be giving makeovers to some of our royal teens and i'm also going to be trying out skin details and like face masks and stuff for i mean kind of the first time i've kind of used them in the past but i've actually found some that i like thanks to some girls in my discord group who sent me a ton and i love them so so much so you guys will get to see we're going to be giving a makeover to Prince Manuel because I hadn't actually finished like picking out of all of his outfits and stuff yet. So Manuel and then Aisha and Kimberly and then also Elena and Juliet of Willow Creek. And then you guys will see some of the other Sims because I gave like a face mask to Philip and Naya because they had aged up into adults and they just look so much better with the face mask on now. I'm also going to be talking about the last episode of the Royal Family, the debutante ball episode, which is season two episode 27 so if you have not seen it yet there might be some spoilers so if you want to go watch that first I would go do that and then come back to here because I'm going to be talking about the characters and some stuff that happened and I'll be addressing a few comments that I saw as well but this is Prince Manuel so as you guys can see he's outgoing and he is active I do feel like a lot of our sims are active <laughs> a little bit but I might give him a few more traits I want to download a few other custom content traits as well because I saw one that was like a modest trait that I didn't get a chance to download yet but I thought that would be really cool so other traits like that too would be really nice and then I also want to download the height adjuster mod so all the sims can have different heights and then I also need to download the I think it's the hat adjuster mod I think that's what it's called or the hat slider mod so with that one I can adjust the height of the crowns and their position because you guys will see I didn't get a chance to give them crowns just because it didn't work with the hairstyles that I I liked so I will do that in like probably by the next episode so they'll actually have crowns for their formal wear and everything so this is now Princess Aisha so I've mentioned this in the past but she actually has the snob trait and then she also has the fabulously wealthy aspiration even though I think she's already fabulously wealthy so I think she just likes being a princess and being rich and having all that stuff she also is musically talented so there is that and I just love that she has Naya's face but she's blonde but her face looks exactly like Naya, and I think she's so, so pretty. I think this entire family is so attractive, and I love the Oasis Springs royal family so much, but you guys gotta see in the last episode, some people were saying, because there was the whole fight with Charles, Araminta, and Han, and then the couple that was still dancing, some people thought it was Takashi and Elena, but it was actually Manuel and Juliet that were still dancing, even though there was a fight going on, so I just feel like, and other people were saying this too, that it just means that Manuel well and Juliet were just so like in the moment with each other and I think that he must really like her a lot. I also love the fact that because I feel like Takashi, Manuel, Elena, and Juliet are all like in the same grade like technically speaking and they're more on the younger side of this generation but they are just all so cute and I love them so much. As you can see there were some crazy outfits that came up that I just hadn't got the chance to fix yet like just like random boots and some people will be given crowns and stuff too so I just like got a chance to fix all of that which I was really happy about. I actually gave Takashi his makeover and fixed all of his outfits before I realized I wasn't recording, so I apologize for that, but I have like done all of his stuff as well. But then also, I love your guys' comments in the last episode. I'm so glad you guys loved the debutante ball as much as I did. It was a lot of fun. I know it was a lot longer than usual just because there was so many people to focus on. Oh, okay, and then this is the face mask. I just wanna show you real quick. So I'm gonna do a before and after picture so you guys can see but like oh my gosh he looked so much better after the face mask was turned because once Philip had aged up into an adult I was like oh like he was one of my favorites and I was like mm, I'm not sure how I feel about how different he looks and how much older he looks so I gave one to Naya also the face mask and then I need to give one to Amira and Jabari and like all the other people as well but oh gosh they just look so much better they still have like the wrinkles so you can tell they're a little bit older but it's just it's just not as prominent. I also gave that face mask to Aisha. Some people look better with it than others. Also, as far as links, since most of this is stuff that I've already had, I'm not really doing like links for each individual outfit, like a lookbook that I've done the past few videos, but I will link to my Pinterest board. I have like a whole Sims 4 custom content board, but then each of those are divided into sections for like female clothes and female hair and male clothes and male hair and all that stuff. So I'll definitely link those in the description below. And then I will 
will also have a category for skin details and such, and I will put all my favorite skin details in that category so you guys can see that as well. And this is Princess Kimberly. The outfits for her, I... I don't know. I still don't love it. I tried to play around with some pantsuits for her. As I mentioned the last episode, she is a loner and she's very outdoorsy. So I actually, I think that like, I don't know if they will end up together. We will have to see. But with her and Makana, I think she would actually be a perfect fit for living in Sulani. And she would be the queen of Sulani if her and Makana ended up together. So I just thought that she would have more of a casual outfit. And I was trying to find some pantsuits for her. I'm still not 100% sure how I feel about this outfit that I went with her. So I think I'm just going to have to find some other stuff for her as well. Um, so I'll do some custom content shopping and try to find a good outfit for her. And then now we are on Princess Juliet. So with her, uh, you guys will see in a second, but I ended up going with a lot longer hair for her just because I was getting so mixed up and so confused with Juliet and Elena because we usually have twins that are like very opposite, like either one's a boy or a girl, or then you have Anya and Araminta who are just like opposite personalities in general. So they dress very differently. But I think Juliet and Elena are much more similar. They're also best friends. So I gave Juliet a lot longer hair and then I kept the like medium length hair for Elena. And you guys will see Juliet's formal outfit. I, or like, yeah, the formal outfit, the hair I used for her formal outfit. It is gorgeous. I was waiting to find a sim I could use it for. The only downside is I don't know how a crown gonna look with it even with when I download the hat slider mod but oh my gosh it's gorgeous you guys will see it in just a minute and then for her outfit too I just think she's a lot like sweeter at least she's very cheerful and she's not maybe not as innocent but definitely more innocent than her sister Elena I think Elena is going to be a little bit more of a party animal so we'll definitely get into their stories when they start getting a little bit older right now we're still focusing on the older ones of the teenagers like Ari Cornelius, Araminta, and Charles and all of them, but we will, like, everyone will get a turn and we'll try to cover everyone's story as much as possible. But this is the hair that I went with her. Once you guys see, like, the final outfit, I love it so, so much. But that hair is gorgeous. I think it's a little bit more, I guess, vintage just the way the updo is, but oh my gosh, it's so cute. I can definitely see a lot of Princess Belle in the twins, in both Juliet and Elena. Their faces are exactly the same so they definitely look like their father's side for sure but yeah this is pretty much the finished outfit I have with her I ended up adding gloves for her as well oh my gosh it's like one of my favorite royal outfits also Genevieve is not in this household right now as you guys can see on the bottom left because for the debutante ball since I kept having to add and remove people from the family just so I could play from different sims without like exiting the actual household she's out there somewhere so I have to find her and just add her back to the family but Genevieve is still part of the family I did see a lot of comments people love Genevieve and Prince Adric, so that's a good thing. So we'll definitely get to focus on them in the future. I feel like the girls in this family, I don't know, Elena's a little bit more, of course, on the partying side as well. But then with Genevieve and Juliet, they're just both so poised. And then there, we have Cornelius as well. And we'll try to figure out Cornelius' story and get more into him in future episodes as well. But basically, he's just a very angsty and angry child, and we have to figure out why. And then also, I feel like he's kind of lazy like he just doesn't want to do the work and then he's just like he just doesn't like being told what to do so i mean as a king like technically you have advisors and stuff and i don't know like a royal court and stuff that would still be telling you what to do but he would have a little bit more power as king so i was debating if he would enjoy being king just because i think he is a little bit more on like the lazy side. But I also think he would enjoy being king just because uh, there's not as many people that would tell him what to do. But I do think that Cora and Louis and Corinne are all very concerned about him. So we're definitely gonna have to figure out something with him in the future. A lot of people wanted Cornelius to abdicate and then Genevieve to become queen. So that is also a possibility, but I don't think that would happen so easily. Like that's definitely not just an easy process. So it would have to take a lot and then it would also have to take Cornelius like really not wanting to become king of Willow Creek which I'm not sure if he's at that point yet so we'll get to focus on him but this 
this is Elena. So Elena, again, she is a bit of a party animal. She's materialistic and she is a perfectionist. So I feel like Elena might be getting into some stuff in the future. We will have to see. Right now, she was the one who was dancing with Prince Takashi at the debutante ball. So we'll see if there is some stuff going on with them. But yeah, I just think her and Juliet are so cute and so pretty. And you guys will also get to see, I also did the face mask for them. But yeah, some of the Sims look very different with face masks and others look better with the face mask. So I don't add it to everybody. I only add it to some people, but she just looks, they're so pretty, you guys. I love them so much. But the video is almost over, so I will start to wrap this up, but you guys will get to see all of the final outfits and everything that I chose in game. Definitely keep letting me know your thoughts on all the characters and everything. I love hearing your guys's like character analysis and predictions and all of that stuff. So definitely make sure you leave comments below about that. Make sure you check the description for the links to my Pinterest boards and everything. That will be in the video description. If you enjoy this, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!